Hi everybody, Niklas Seidloff here. Here's a quick demonstration how XPages can be used in combination with IBM Connections. What you see here is Collaboration Today, a news aggregator for IBM Collaboration Solutions professionals. Collaboration Today has been implemented using XPages. The way Collaboration Today works is that there are moderators who decide what, what content makes it on this website. For the purpose of this demo, I've added Frank Adams, my test user, as one of the moderators for the category X pages. So now let's assume that Frank wants to add this entry here, this blog entry. IBM releases the Social Business Toolkit as open source. So I can copy this link, go back to Collaboration Today, switch to the Moderator UI and say Capture and Edit. And I also want to um, paste in here the first couple of sentences as the abstract. So this is how I can do this. And now I can um, change here the title. Um, I can choose another author, let's say OpenNTF. And then I pick here my X pages category. So once I'm done with that, I can say approve. And when I now navigate to the home page, I see the new entry showing up right here. And when I go to the recent page, I even um, see here the abstract. So now in the next step, let's assume there's also an XPages community where XPages developers collaborate. Um, now, when Frank added this news entry to Collaboration Today, he also wanted to notify people in this community about this new entry. So when I now do a refresh on this page here, recent updates, I see this new entry showing up right here because it was published from the XPages application into the activity stream of my community. And readers of this community can now see that Frank has posted a new entry on Collaboration Today. And they can also click on this um, activity you know, stream entry to see the embedded experience, which brings up here another X page. And here people can read the um, abstract. They can obviously um, open the actual link. And they can also sh um, invoke some of the typical actions here, for example, to share um, this news entry via Twitter. In the next part of this video, I'm going to describe how I've implemented the sample. First of all, you need the XPages Social Enabler, which you can download from OpenNTF. The XPages Social Enabler allows you to access IBM connections from XPages, and you need an 853 server in order to run it. Now you also need another project, the XPages for Connections project from OpenNTF, which contains an activity stream service, which is an extension to the social enabler that makes it even easier to access the activity streams. And in order to use activity streams in connections, you obviously also need a connections for server, and you will need a fixed list, um, but not the CR1, but you actually need CR2, which um, comes with a fix for the embedded experience that I'm going to need in this example. So let me now show how easy it is to create an entry in the community activity stream. This is my XPages Java code, and I have a convenience functionality here to generate some JSON. This JSON contains things like a link to the picture that I want to show in the activity stream, it contains titles and, and summary information. And the most important part here is the link to the X page that will be displayed in the embedded experience. And I define here the link to the X page and also I pass in some context, which is the ID of the news entry. And once I have my um, JSON, I can now use this activity uh, stream service and I can simply call a method post entry to community, I pass in the JSON, and I pass in the unique ID of the community. And that's really all you need to do. Um, now the only other things um, are some, is some configuration work. Um, I'm using here the um, LTPA endpoint bean, which um, um, provides a single sign-on between my Domino server and connections. And um, I refer to the name Connections LTPA from within my properties file. And that's pretty much it. So now when I go to the REST client here and do a send in order to get all the entries from my activity stream, and I uh, navigate down here, 
I can see the entry that I just generated. And this entry contains here this section, um, which is um, a URL pointing to my X page, and it also has the um, ID of that news entry. So what I'm doing here is not to implement my own open social gadget, but I'm using this simple and straightforward mechanism to um, simply put in a URL. Um, so then the only other thing that I wanted to mention here is that when I bring up the embedded experience, I refer to um, a publicly available website, which doesn't require authentication, but that same mechanism would also work um, if you do require authentication, if the Nodes database has access control um, defined. Um, in order to do that, you need to configure um, connections. And um, one of the things you need to do also in order to use the embedded experience against another um, domain is you need to define your URLs of your domain or server, in this case, um, in this open social config XML file where you define this whitelist. Or as a developer, you can even say um, enable developer mode and allow access to all servers. So, so that's pretty much everything that I had to do. Very simple and straightforward. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.